everyone, welcome back to my channel. It has been a while since I recorded a video, but I did want to go ahead and record one today so I can share with you some of the makeup products that I have been loving over the past couple of months. I wrote a blog post on VintiFashion.com maybe a week or so ago sharing five ways that you can achieve a summer glow and you'll notice that the products I have today all kind of align with that. That's just kind of the makeup mood that I've been in. But I don't want to keep this video too long, so let's just jump right in. So the first thing that I have to share is an eyeshadow palette, and it's from ColourPop. I don't know if you have tried ColourPop pressed palettes yet, but they are my favorite right now. And this one is the Yes Please palette. This one in particular, um, I actually don't use a lot of the shades. I mainly just use the bottom row and then the shimmery gold color here. But the reason why it's in my favorites is because I purchased this for the yellow eyeshadow in the bottom corner and it did not disappoint. It's a beautiful yellow shade. I love to wear it on my lid, all over, just kind of that's the fresh wash that I have and maybe a transition color in my crease line, but that's it. So I definitely recommend it if you are looking for an eyeshadow that has a little bit of color without being too bold. The ColourPop Yes Please palette will be your best friend. So that's all I have for the eyes. Moving into the lips, I have two shades from Minted Cosmetics. This is a brand that I have mentioned in a previous favorites because they make my absolute favorite nude lipstick, which is called Brand Nude. But that one's a little bit more cool tone, so I wanted to try a few different shades from the brand, and I wanted to find something a bit warm for the spring and summer months. So I ordered a couple more over the past couple of months, and I've been loving them. This first one is Nude La La, which is what I'm wearing today. And it is a pinky nude. Absolutely beautiful. Goes well with everything. And the second one is Peach Please, which is a peachy nude. And this one looks great if you are wearing a warm um, outfit, like a yellow top, or even if you're wearing, you know, like the yellow eyeshadow from the Yes Please palette, that's when I would reach for Peach Please. Anything that has more of a warm summer tropical feel, I'll go for Peach Please. Anything that's kind of um, muted out or neutral, I'll go for Nude La La. So Minted Cosmetics, if you are on the market for some nude lipsticks with a few different undertone options. Next up are some glitter glosses, and I don't have all of the ones that I want to show, but I just wanted to give two of the recommendations because really this whole spring and summer I'm just really liking lip gloss, so any lip gloss will do whatever your preference is, but my recommendation is to look on ColourPop's website because they have a lot of really pretty options. Especially if you're looking for the glosses with the glitter in them that are not too chunky of glitter. I think ColourPop does a great job of making glitter gloss that has finely milled glitter and they aren't super opaque so they don't totally change the color if you're wearing a lipstick underneath. But the one I have here is from Karuchi's line with ColourPop and it is in the shade Contessa. This one is more of a bronzy glitter gold in the packaging. Again, it applies pretty neutral. It doesn't do much as far as changing the color of your lipstick, which I like. And same thing goes for this next one, which is with the Makeup by Shayla collaboration with ColourPop, and this one is called Neat Freak. Again, I just treat these as kind of like a lip topper. You know, just put it on top of whatever nude lipstick I'm wearing, and I'm good to go. I just like how they look. They are not a sticky formula, and you do have to apply them throughout the day. I mean, that's pretty much how it goes with lip gloss, but it's really easy to just, you know, apply and go. I really like them, and I believe they're only $6 on the ColourPop website, so definitely worth checking out if you haven't already. So that's all for the lips. I just had the Minted Cosmetics um, if you're looking for nude lipsticks, and ColourPop if you are looking for affordable glitter gloss. So moving into the face products, I have a couple of shimmer sticks from Fenty Beauty. They are in the shades Trippin' and Blonde. Trippin' is like a golden apricot shade, beautiful on brown skin, and Blonde is a true gold. Blonde kind of reminds me of what everyone wanted Trophy Wife to be. This is a pure gold. Like, if you wanted Trophy Wife but you thought it was maybe a little bit too on the yellow-green side, then Blonde will be your better option. Whereas Trippin, now that I'm looking at it, is a better comparison for the Mean Money and Hustle Baby highlighter. But that is another favorite that I have here, the Kilowatt from Fenty Beauty. I have been loving it. I love the Mean Money side, which not enough people talk about, I think. 
It is a subtle daytime wear of a highlight, but I like that. Sometimes you don't want to have a straight, you know, in your face highlight. Sometimes you just want it to be kind of a subtle glow. So that's what I really love about the Mean Money side. It does show up on my skin, which I originally was a little bit hesitant on because of its sheerness and because of the shade. I didn't know if this would be too light for me or it just wouldn't show up at all, but it really does. And of course, everybody knows Hustle Baby. That's pretty much the fan favorite. But I do have them on today. I have um, Trippin' and Blondie. I keep calling it Blondie and the shade is blonde. Trippin' and Blonde on the cheekbones and then to top it off, I applied Mean Money just to give it a little bit more of a pop. So moving away from highlighters, I do have a bronzer today in my favorites and it is from Bobbi Brown. It is their bronzing powder in the shade Deep Four. Now, I definitely was one of those people who felt like uh, women of color, black women, uh, specifically couldn't wear bronzers because nobody would ever make any for us. Bobbi Brown has in the past, but I never wanted to show out the money for it because Bobbi Brown's an expensive brand, but it's really, honestly, it's beautiful. A lot of bronzing powders that are made for darker skin tones now have very warm, like almost too red of an undertone, whereas this one I feel like it applies and you don't really need a lot and it just builds beautifully onto your skin. I think it looks very natural, like exactly what you would want it to look like in a bronzer. I think a lot of times bronzers just go way too red the darker you get and it's like nobody, nobody asks for that. So if you're still on the hunt for a good bronzer, I definitely would recommend the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder. I know that it is quite pricey for the brand, but I love it and you really don't need a lot. I apply it with a light fluffy brush and I have been using it all the time and I'm not making a single dent in this thing yet, which is good. So you definitely get your money's worth. So that is the Bobbi Brown bronzing powder in deep four. And the last thing on my list is also from Bobbi Brown, another pricey but worth it item and that is their foundation. I actually get a lot of compliments on the foundation, so that's good. It's nice to hear like the reinforcement, like, oh, this was a good decision kind of thing. but. It is the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15. It is full coverage, it is oil free, and it is time control. And I am in the shade Warm Almond, which is 6.5. What I love about this is it says full coverage. To me, it's buildable to full coverage. It's more medium to full. And no matter what you use, I always use a beauty blender just because I don't like to use brushes as foundation, especially as a foundation brush, especially in, you know, the heat that we're in right now. I just want something lightweight. I don't like a ton of coverage, but I just want enough to cover, if that makes sense. I typically go for a medium um, foundation that can be buildable to full if I want to take it there, but I don't want to start off with full. I love this foundation. I definitely will repurchase once I run out. Hopefully that won't be anytime soon because like I mentioned, it is a pricey brand. I think it was maybe like $45 for it, but totally worth it. All right, guys, that wraps up today's video. I hope you enjoyed my beauty favorites for the past couple of months. Leave a comment down below letting me know what spring products you have been loving. And as always, you can check me out over on VintiFashion.com where I share my outfit inspo, my outfit post style tips, beauty reviews, things like that. I do post over there weekly. So if you don't see me on YouTube and you're wondering what I'm up to, you can head to the blog for some fashion and style inspiration. And as always, in the meantime and in between time, you can find me on social media, that is at Vinti Fashion on Twitter and Instagram, as well as Pinterest and Facebook. So until next time, I will talk to you all later. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.